Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the Exercise Show stream. How's it going? Um, today we're just going to jump right in. I got a, a bunch of work to do. So I'm just going to... This one's going to be free in it. There's no particular team to it. I'm just going to jump in and start working. And you guys can just tag along. Let's go. Okie dokie, yeah. No, I got a lot of work to do, so let's get right to it. Um, if anyone has any questions, I'll answer those as I go along. But um, in the meantime, I'll just go right ahead. So I, I'm laying out this level. And this level is being uh, worked on. So, while it's being worked on, let's, uh, let's continue to... I'm just going to continue laying this out.
Okay, so I gotta make a, a duplicate of this building here. And change some things up. Save this as. Hold on, before I do that, let me just, just want to check to see, okay, the modules are, could be selected. Okay, I'm going to make one where the entrance is facing the opposite direction. Okay, so all these are centered like that. So. Local space, global. Okay, I'm gonna put a node right in the middle there. Actually, I'll put a node right here. Everything I need in that alt in that alt node. You need to delete this and make a copy of this and dump it in there or vice versa I could probably just flip it, that's it. Yeah. You know what, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna flip that. Okay, that's known. Just leave that alone. I'm gonna dump everything in and flip it. Hopefully it should still all work out. See if this will work. 
I'm gonna try to flip this around. I totally like flipped it like that. Did it, but um, yeah, we got some flip normals. On it. So I think I got to make a different version and just bring it in here. Let's bring that module back in again for that piece, but flipped in Blender. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it using this uh, this node here. Then we'll bring that piece in and we'll be able to make part of that new building. Yeah, there we go. You know what, I'm gonna come here and zero out these uh, Maybe I should have done that before I flipped it. Let's see, let's see if it'll work. Oh, there you go. That'll work. Okay, let's go ahead and flip this. Oh, mirror, right, let's mirror it. Mirror, I think mirror takes care of the flip normals if we do it that way. There you go. 
go. It would behoove them to allow Mira to take care of <laughs> Okay, we got it. Supply rotations and scales. Ah, right, there you go. You see, like the flip stuff. Let's select everything. Could easily fix this. Alt, um, let's press tab to edit everything. Oh, we can't tab that. We could tab these things though. Tab A, Alt N, Alt N, flip. Took care of it. Save that. Here it is empty, don't need it anymore. So entrance flipped, S select that. Apply rotations and scales once more, and then we're gonna come out here. Just gonna make sure it's, everything is still, okay, yeah, it's just flipped. So I'm gonna take this guy, export him, GLTF. Okay, so it's gate building and it's called um, entrance flipped. That's all we need. Draw, no animation, export that. Now we could go back. Once this is finished, export, we could go back into the game engine and. Uh, and build build the building that we need okay here we are okay. yep it's important to flipped um, entrance Okay, finish, import it. Let's, let's pull it up. Right here, let's bring that up. Okay, let's take a look at it. Yeah, looks fine. Oh, here it is. I'm gonna grab this out of here. Copy. I'm gonna put this in your paste. Okay, so we gotta get rid of these sets right here. I'm gonna let's hide these for a minute. Let's get rid of this. It's all good. Okay, and it's on the hide. Right. Now we have this entrances facing the same side. Just what we want. Just want to make sure we got the same materials and everything here. I think we do. Yeah, that looks like the same. One way to find out, we could just uh, change the color on one of these right here. Before I do that, I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run the collision mesh on this. Okay, it's got to make a collision mesh so the character could, uh, could walk on stuff. Wait a minute, where is my door? Uh, did, did we not export the door? Oh, the door wasn't exported. Let's do that over. No biggies. Sport. That happens from time to time. We could technically use the other door, but eh, let's just see what this is exported back properly. Let's come back here. So 
open the flip one. Oh yeah, there's a door. Yeah, I don't understand why the door wasn't wasn't part of it. Oh wait a minute, the door is there? Where is it? Oh wait a minute, it's invisible? Okay, that's odd. Oh, it just was hidden. Uh, duh. Okay, it's all good. It's all good guys. Bam. I'll just open the door up here for a minute. Right. We could put um, the logic in so that the doors could automatically open. We could do that too. Okay. So this guy, this bad boy looks kind of set. Oh yeah, I just wanted to double check the metal on these uh, these things. See if they're see if they're okay. Okay, so this entrance okay, should be able to just drag and drop this guy on here. Would it allow me? Uh, it doesn't allow you to. Okay, select this one. Yeah, this one is back to the original, which is fine. I'm gonna save um, these met this metal. Just have to save these two metal parts. Let's do that. File. Save. See that. Alright, now I could come over to this one and apply. Yep, there you go. So we got that metal. Let's do the same thing to the spot right here. So this entrance. Yeah, let's come over and select this one now. Wait a minute, are they? Oh, they are one in the same. Anywho, gonna go ahead and select that. Anyway, you know that everything is squared away. I'm gonna bring this in. Okay, this is it right here. Close this for a minute. And just bring that, that new building in there. Oh, what's going on?
Okay, here we are. Let's just rotate this so it's turned in the right direction. Oh, rotation 180. There we go. I'm just gonna run through to make to see how how that works out. It all works out. Okay, we still have little nooks and crannies, which is, is always a good thing. Yeah, well, that could be filled up with rock and other debris, plants, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, you got a little soil coming up in the... Okay, so that works. I just want to see um, what's going on over here. Okay. Deep enough.
Okay, yeah, so I think these buildings are a success. Just have to automate the doors. Well, not really, but we gotta make the inner door here. Maybe that's the one thing that we that we do do is to make like the inner door parts that's supposed to work in conjunction with this stuff. That'd be a pretty cool design. Could be all done in Blender or 3D code, either way. Okay. So even though the collision was turned off, it still it still worked, which is which is pretty cool. We have the navigation. Yeah, those things don't need to be on, let's say. What we could work out, what I could work out right now is the, um, we got a portal over here. What I could work out is um, it's like the occlusion culling. I think that's what they call it. Let's save this. The scene should be backed up. Let's go straight to the folder where all this resides. I'm gonna back it up. Back it up to another um, drive. Fly, gonna merge. Fly, replace. You know, I'll take a while. Let's see if we have anything still. Uh, let's close this. That was successful. We need to touch anything on, on this gate building. Let's go into the old engine. You see, I think that I still have some stuff here. Let's go edit. Okay. Okay, it says I can't open the project because certain things are not in here. That's my bad. It's all good. You could basically get rid of the old engine. Okay, so what I do need to do is to create some more particles. So let's do that. Okay, so I got the lighting. Got the level art. Um, maybe I should put all the buildings in the node. Could definitely do that. Let's see, add um, add child node. The structure. Oh, my bad. Uh, node 3D. 
Can't believe this a name. So all the man-made structures are gonna go in this node. Okay, there's structures, then you got a uh, terrain, the wastewater. All the terrain, okay. We got our collision in here, a level art collision. We got, um, yeah, this, this shouldn't be touched at all. Navigation 3D, we've got a skybox. We've got a character spawner. We could add enemies in here. Let's add, let's add a little bit of enemies in here. Okay, so levels. Okay, you got an enemy spawner. I'm gonna add that in here. Oh, my bad. Uh, not that one, but this one. Enemy spawn. There we go. Oh wow, hey, how's it going frame? Oh, free server got today, really? At 7.30 p.m., wow. Yeah, definitely would uh, jump on a little bit on Warframe and check that out. <laughs> That's very cool. So you get that Warframe for free, server got? I wonder if, did I get that guy already? Let's see, I probably don't have him. Seva got. Yeah, I don't know if you wanna. Is the guy that is he look? He looks kind of like a cloak, right? Uh, I gotta watch a Warframe stream. That's cool. I wonder if they. I wonder if it's something I could participate in. I know like I could have things in here that if even if people watch my stream while I play Warframe, they'll they'll get stuff like that also. Yeah, the guy who yeah, who looks yeah. That's pretty cool. This guy, Savagoth. Hey, thanks for letting me know. Yeah, I'll definitely check that out. Okay, let's put a few enemies right here. I think last time I had them spawning in the building. Remember, we made all these uh, these things here in. We made all these here in um, using Blender and 3D Code, so that's pretty cool. Let's add them. Let's add them spawn right here. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's check that out real quick. It should still all work. You know, if the, I haven't like played around with the code that much. Okay, so they should be spawning right now. Oh, whoa! Why? Why are they spawning like right here? What? Not here. Yeah, let's take a look. The ship's spawning over here. Let's take a look at the navigation for these guys. Eh, I'll have to figure that out. Pretty strange that it 
It happened like that. Wow. It's weird, so what's going on in here? Oh, Popski. Very cool. I'll ch yeah, I'll check that. I'll check him out. <sighs> Some kind of bug going on here. I'll have to work. I'll have to check that out. Okay. So what I do need in here, besides the texture for the terrain, you know, I wanted to put up these uh, kind of uh, like a uh, metal wall structure that could be placed anywhere within the scene. So that's something that we could um. We could definitely design in this session and that kind of thing. That's something we could definitely do. Let me open the horde the horde section. Let's go let's open up horde. So we have Player spawn and enemy spawn. An enemy spawn could go anywhere. Spawn enemy. Right. Got that. Let's let's run this. Yeah, the enemies are spawning and they're moving correctly. Okay, I think I know what's happening. I don't have a perch object. That's why. That's why uh, you know I have this debugger. Uh, this debug section just to make sure okay so I need a perch point my bad guys let's just drop that in here at least one paste this is the code uh, uh, popski <laughs> okay popski is a you know it's a pretty um it's a pretty known um a pretty known streamer here on Twitch. Okay, now I could put the enemy. Now I could put the enemies in here, and it'll work. Spawn enemy. Okay, here we go. So now, now the enemies should work as they as they are intended. Oh. oh okay. Pops pop, Popsker. Okay. Yeah, he got me to say his name like four or five times <laughs> on my own stream. It's all good. I will I will check him out and see what he's about. You know be exciting and you know does real fun stuff you know and it offers you um it takes part in the you know these nice uh, giveaways for warframe i'll check it out Okay, let's see. This should work now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my the the spawn the guy spawner on top, and let's put this below here and everything. Okay. Let's see. This should this should this should work without a without a hitch or error. Oh no, they're still spawning here? What? I don't get it. Maybe there's like two spawners? There may be two spawners going on here. Yeah, because these guys are... What? 
Okay. I'm not gonna figure it out right now guys. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump into creating. <laughs> Alright man, yeah, take it easy. Thanks for stopping by. Spawn enemy. We got a push point. What else we had in here? Got debug object, okay, 3D navigation. Anyways, yeah, maybe these are, this is supposed to be on and that kind of thing, so just leave that alone. Okay, so I'm, I want to create like a metal wall that I could use um, throughout here, and also there's like these metal pads that I wanted to place in different areas. So Maybe we do the, maybe I'll, we'll design like a wall, a metal wall that we could place for the enemies to kind of have like um, a perch points basically where they could like congregate and they could fire against the end, that kind of thing. And we'll scatter that throughout here and um, I have a modular kind of um, octagon floor piece that could go for the base of those things. So yeah, we're going to get back into the art here. Fire in a blender. But we do I do know what was what is successful is putting these buildings in here. So that works. Let's close that. And um, I believe our scene is already backed up now. Okay, let's go get those uh, pieces. Let's see if we can like really design them up. Um, probably dumb them in 3D code and do some blender work on them you know, later. Let's see if we can grab those elements, any element like that. Okay, let's sort by name here. Okay, so all these are terrain. We have a level one full backup. Okay, we have the gate building, two bridges. Let's check this level one blend. See what that's what that's like. Okay, so the new gate building kind of replaced this so that making this more unique. Yeah, so, you know, you have a better gate building going on. Okay, not, nothing to take from here. That's cool. Do like this element here, but we do have, we have this element in... Actually, this element supposed to actually be in that level. Okay, so this is definitely an entrance and then we have another piece that fits on here Yeah, so this element should be should be at the end of that level So this could be something that could be detailed up a little bit more, but I mean it looks fine probably could work as is What I'm gonna do uh, So this would be um, this would be considered like a portal in and out. Yeah, so this should be a portal. So let's, um, I'm going to select this. The portal, this this actually would be kind of complex actually. So I'm going to select that. Now in Blender, you cannot like save selected as a Blender file. But what you could do, you could copy and paste from one blender to the next, which I thought was pretty insane. <laughs> so 
I mean, insane being cool, you know. Let's see if we have a high resolution version of this stuff. Structures, high resolution, HD. Okay, yeah, it's all in pieces, right? Okay, so I'll just go off of what we got there. Let's go to structures here. I'm gonna grab this guy and we're gonna embellish on this guy. This is gonna be a portal. And I think that new wall, I'm gonna replace this with the wall that we developed for, for that we're gonna develop. So, save as. Um, oh yeah, copy. You copy and paste into a new blender, that's how you do that. Let's come here. Me firing up a new blender. Okay. Here we are. Let's go to the top view and let's bring the center this this bad boy out. Okay, so the, the other piece that's supposed to fit on here is um, it's kind of like a capsule that, that takes you and transports you somewhere else. So that could be the back piece of here. Let's see if we can get that. That exists in a different blend file. So I'm going to save this and call this portal. And I'll call it level portal. a thing onto itself let's get that, that that other element now that element we could actually um, texture that element because that element is pretty uh, pretty complex let's import that uh, we could import it let's link it you could do things like linking in blender okay let's see here let's see if we could get it Actually, I'll open it in a new blender first. I'll open it in a different blender so I could see what you know what we're dealing with before I try to import stuff. Um, don't save on that. Gate module. That's what it is. Yep. Hey, oh, I even have it. Oh, good going, Nick. I even it up with this I literally have I literally had it here so it's all good let's put this back in this mode yeah this, this part in the module is pretty complex and this here I think I, I updated this part here okay so this is definitely needs to be um like textured up so that could be definitely um that might be an interesting well it is kind of textured it might be it might make for an interesting stream so you know what i'm gonna save this as as the portal let's copy um let's copy this this bad boy in here continue to copy and pasting Ooh, look at the scale difference. Right, because this is scaled properly and the other one is not. Okay. Ooh, 
One way to find out, let's uh, bring some terrain in. And I'm guessing that this here is optimized. Okay, so I know what to do here. Let's see what the material on this is. Okay, time post building. Let's select that. Yep. I'm going to bring a piece of terrain in here. Let's bring the high res terrain in here. Copy and paste this bad boy in there. Let's make sure this is all, should be scaled properly, but we're just double checking. Boozoings. Oh, must be like that. Okay, now you see this is huge and I think this is the right scale right here. What is going on? Is this locked? Okay. Yeah, I believe that's locked. I'm gonna unlock it. Oh, this is not locked? Okay, what's going on here? Why isn't this moving? Oh, activated that CAD thing back then. Let's see, grab. Okay, back on track. Okay, so this is obviously too big. Get rid of that. So I'm guessing that this is the right scale here. I'm pretty sure this is the right scale. I'm just going to move the terrain just to get the better feel on that. Yep, correct scale. Okay, this is cool. What's that single avert there? Okay, that's another thing here. So this may be the module, but I'm gonna save it over that, um, I'm gonna save it as the, um, the load point. There's a portal, save as. Go up, uh, levels.
level portal, save that as. Okay, so we'll develop a level portal off of that. Okay, so what, when I'm, because I want that metal, metallic, I want that like a metal wall with that, um, I was telling you guys about that, um, kind of octagon grid. Let's pull up uh, that level and let's kind of mock something up real quick. And you could do that in engine. I do believe you should be able to export those blocks and then we could concept, do some concepts on it. Okay, so that's saved. Okay, we know we're going on the right track here. Don't save for that. Yeah, I'm gonna fire up go that one more time and I'm gonna do some blocking. Um, should be able to use those blocks. Gonna hide the collision here for a minute. Hide the enemy navigation. I'm just gonna grab this box from from the horde the horde mode here. Dump this, dump this guy in here. So what I was thinking about. Maybe something this wide. Maybe something that tall. Something that thin. Something I can use to block areas off. a little bit taller than that. One good thing about the blocking you can run the, the character the character through it to see. Give something a little thinner. Maybe something like that. I just want to see how tall this is. Just turn off this uh, water thing.
Aha, uh -huh, I knew it had a... There's one in, there's one hiding here. I gotta find that. I want to design this so it has some sort of tactical advantage for... Okay, so... Many different ways you can make a wall look tactical, I guess. And there's a spawner here. Where's that? Spawn player. Somehow the, the enemies got dropped in there by accident. Where is that? Oh, you know what? Uh, I think I know what's happening here. Uh, I dropped a... Uh, yep, I dropped the wrong note and this is su supposed to be... Uh, the wrong script got dropped in that. That's what's happening. Okay, that's player. That's why, that's why I got so much screwing up. Okay. About to be fixed. script oh that could have trued up all kinds of errors if we didn't catch that okay now everything should work even like even if I put the enemies in there it should work sometimes those like slip of the wrist could cause all kinds of errors in this stuff there you go so nobody else will be spawning in yeah that was that was a user error right there Okay, let's, let's come, on, come out of here. If so, now I can even put the enemies in there and it should be okay. Yeah. Yep, and we got a, um, yeah, got a perch point in there, yeah. I was wondering why, why it was screwed up, that's why. I had like two of the wrong script on the wrong thing. Okay, so I can put these guys wherever I want now and it should be all should be all good. Should be all gravy. Yeah, definitely save that. I was wondering why it was screwing up. I just happened to drop a script on an object that that kind of makes miss. See, so like 
they're not spawning outside here they're spawning in there and they should be on the the collision they should be on the, the, the enemy navigation path okay it's got to turn it on I think that's what's going on so if I turn this on navigation let's turn that on just in case I don't think that they'll light them off everything should be fine No, really? Everything's not fine? Yeah, it's another set of stuff to figure out. I'm not gonna do that right now. Oh, you know why? Because there's no, um, yeah, there's no enemy collision in here. Okay, I, I got it. I got it, guys. I got it. I know what's going on. Anywho, let's get rid of that. That's gonna be, have to be a leader thing. Get rid of that perch point. Anyways, yeah, so this is a mock-up object. I'm liking the size of this. Let's get that designed up. Let's do one more. One more little mock-up box. Come on. Okay, let's see if we can we choose a different um, shape for this. Should be able to. What am I not seeing? Oh, you can't change a CG box on the fly. You gotta like actually create a new thing. Okay. Yep, there you go. You know what? I'm just gonna use a box. Is that the size of a, a floor polygon? What if it's the same size thickness as a wall? Let's do something like this. Just gonna play around here a bit. I did run, run into some problems with this, like trying to construct this thing here in the past. I think keeping it within a square is probably what I want to do, is what should happen. Something like that. Let's see. No, if you take this guy, put him smack dab kind of like there. Yeah, like some kind of platform for them to congregate. I think maybe these these things need to be smaller. Try that.
let's put all this together as a as a thing. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I think I got it. Get rid of that. Ideally, what you want is you you want it to be on a on a tile, and the tile to have like a minimum. The tile should have a gap, but a very small gap. Maybe even this could be. Yep, you could bring that in. Something like that. Something like that. I should just just be on the tile. That's that's how that should be, and then that's an the whole thing would be an element. Let's drop this in here. Yep. Right, this whole thing is an element. Let's just element it out. And however you get up there or whatever it is, that's that's your business. Let's put it side by side here. It could be raised up because you know. Could could do something like this. Yeah, because we want to create new uh new spaces with an element. It's pretty interesting to have this thick enough so that it could survive like a... Huh, that's interesting. Do you find it interesting? Maybe it's more of a cube. A cube element. That might that might actually be the dimensions of what that should be. Right, let's let's do the size here. The size is that four, four, four. Yep, four. Now let's move this up. Let's get rid of the, let's get rid of the other ones. Oh, is this linked? Okay, I think we we got our we got our building block.
Oh, hold on. I think I got an even better idea. Let's see this. This is why blocking these things out like an engine is such a, a cool idea. No, yeah, I could rotate this, but then you would still have a gap. It's all good. Let's try it. So that's where these fins, I should have some fins. Let's do that. Let's see what that's gonna look like. Okay, so we're back here. Got that, got this. Let's duplicate this guy. Get rid of that. See this guy put him here. Let's do like a fin. The only thing about having this fin will totally stop you from traversing the edge of this. Maybe we could sort that out too. If you do it on one side, maybe. Okay guys, I'll be right back. I gotta take a, a quick break. Um, just We're just plugging along here, doing some um, kind of little level blocking and that kind of thing. We'll be right back guys.
Okay, guys, I'm back. Okay, so I just realized I do have Warframe drops enabled. So what I will do, um, maybe after the stream here, I would fire up Warframe and I'll do a stream just for Warframe. I mean, there's a ton of stuff I got to do in there anyway. So um, I'll participate in the stream and hopefully when you watch my stream a little bit later, you'll be able to get some of these, you'll be able to get a drop. So you, um, so what you need to do is this. So let me, let me read it out. What you would need to do, or what you know, what I needed to do is to to enable the drop, which it is, it's enabled, right? Right, and I just have to be in the warframe category, which I, which is what I'm going to do after this stream. But if you're watching me, you'll be able, and you play the game Warframe, you know, later you could, um, you know, you could check, you could watch my stream here for an hour two hours even up to three hours so i'll play for probably like three or four hours and you'll be able to claim you know like you know some rewards you know based on you just watching me and the rewards are you could get an orican reactor you could get a um ayatan via sculpture and an orican catalyst so if you're out there and you like uh and you like playing warframe you know um you know, I'll make it possible. Yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll do I'll do that. But in the meantime, let's get back to blocking this thing out and seeing what this thing is, what we could do with this thing. So technically, if I if I do this, this this might if I chain them, this will stop you from just running right along, which I think kind of sucks. But um, let's just see. Let's just see what it does. But let's keep it keep it to one side like this, and it'll kind of reflect back some of this corrugation. You know, this kind of like corrugated kind of effect that I have going on here. Let's just duplicate this. Let's try it one more time. Yeah, see if I do that, it'll stop you from running straight along. Which is probably not the best. What you would want though, you might want something like this. Let's, let's delete that. You might want something like this. Let's, 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 let's block this out. You might want something like this. Okay, you don't want to necessarily stop, you know. I just want to create new play spaces. So this might be interesting. Something like this. Okay, I think I got it now. So this is what I'm, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. Oh, let's get rid of that. Okay, here we go. Come on. Yeah, something like that. Go halfway. Right. Bring this in the middle.
Hmm. Maybe something like this. Now one good thing about like being able to um, to block things out like this is that you got to test to see if like a design works or not, right? Okay, let's let's duplicate this. Let's create like a barrier and that's kind of what I wanted. Okay, that's interesting. Let's see if we could go right across with that. Oops, why isn't that? What the? Oh, I didn't, I didn't copy the... Okay, that one, that one, that one, yeah, and that one is nothing. Okay, back on track.
Yep, and the whole point of having that is that I could do this. Okay, let's see, let's see how this blocking, if this blocking works. Maybe it's, maybe it's too much, but let's see. I'm gonna check it out. Careening off into the yeah, that's really tight. So if I want to keep the same space, all I have to do is make the wall a little thinner. That should that should solve things. Yeah, that space is really tight. I can make the wall a little thinner and those things a little thinner. Okay. So we solve that. You could right click here and just um, save this as a separate thing, I think. Save branch as scene. Let's do that. Let's go on barricade. Here, yeah, where are we putting this in? Put this in level assets. So I can get rid of these. Got a one node. And so, yeah, so even if I duplicate this, then we just have to change the one and it'll, it'll work for everything. maybe this barrack of course this will have to be um doctored up some well, i'm gonna make that um that change on here Okay. So yeah, so I could go ahead and could change the So I wanted that to be a bit thinner.
Doesn't even have to be this tall. Let's let's bring that down. Oh, that controls everything. Okay. Make this a little bit wider. Hey, you know what? Hold on here. Could beef it, beef it up, but just bring this, bring this to the edge. And that's about half of that. Actually, the idea I have for this is to actually cut through this with a box. Let's see if we could do that.
Oh, this is on Union, yep. Okay, flip faces, Operation Union. And duplicate this guy. Oh yeah, totally did it. Look at that. It's pretty interesting. Save this. And then, of course, this will be reflected. Yep. Let's duplicate that. Bring this across. Okay. Okay, there's obviously some figuring out to do with this construction piece. Okay, I'm gonna test out this to see what this looks, see what happened, what's going on with this one. Let's see if we can get a guy to squeeze through this. Whoa. Smack them in the middle of one? Oh. What's this guy doing here? Still a bit tight. Don't like these these things here, so maybe they, they could be worked on to look like something. Definitely there will be um these are like pieces.
those three pieces should come out. Okay. See a little, another design thing. Get rid of these. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Yeah, this guy can't fit through there. That's good. But he can fit through here. Just kind of what, what I wanted. It could fit through there. It's fine. Can make still make this a bit thinner and wider. Can make it wider, not thinner. Almost there. I'm thinking that this is gonna have to echo gonna have to echo that to some degree. What I mean is like it's gonna have to have like something that rotates back. Okay. But I think all that I could just do. Huh. All that I could do in modeling. Yeah, it's a simple shape. I shouldn't yeah, shouldn't try to model it here in the program.
Yeah, I know there's a little snap snapping glitch that happens sometimes with uh the go dot. Yeah. Should be able to rotate that. Yeah, and you got like a barricade that blocks. Any movement between here and here. Yeah, so this will be kinda puzzle PC. Kinda. Let's take a look here. Yep, I can't, I can't get through there. Is it because the wall is low? Nope. Hey, I wouldn't want a scenario like this. This will like completely block you off. That would lead to clear frustration. Is this significant of a... It's like the proportions of this could make or break like the design. One time for your mind, two time for your soul. Okay, that's just a terrain glitch there. Should be a little, little bit bigger. Let's do it. Scale the whole thing. For 1.5. Almost twice the size. Let's 
received that. Barricade. Okay, definitely have to do some kind of interlocking pattern. Okay, I believe we have our starter shape. This will definitely have to be developed more, so technically I should be able to export this. Let's see what options we got here.
create new resource in memory and edit it. That's interesting. Okay, so you create a resource in here. Okay. Yeah, gotta gotta check that out at some point. See branch of scene. Oh, it's already saved out. Let's save scene as. So what else we have here? in here Export as mesh library. That's interesting. Let's go back here. Export as. Oh, GLT I've seen here. There you go. Let's export this as a GLT I've seen. That is very cool. So we be able to export a mesh out of this. Let's export it into um into 3D code. Let's go into Blender first. Work files, Blender assets, import. Save that. Can Blender import GLTF? That's a file import GLTF. Import. Oh, here it is, the barricade. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Wow, it totally did it. Oh, and it kept all the nodes and everything. Isn't that nifty? It's very cool. Oh. Look at that, that's so cool. Now we could definitely take this as a templated thing, go into 3D code and really embellish this and make this into to something, you know, that's more indicative of what it should be. So I'm gonna save this Let's save. Let's do a save. All right. Um, level, this is an object. So we have a gate module. Ammo, we have the ammo box. We have a drop box. Got to take a look at that. Some some sort of at some point. I'm gonna give this a um, barricade level. Huh. And let's save let's save our copy over to the 3D code. Export and you can export as standard OBJ. That should work. Three D code assets. Put that into import. Yeah. So what we've been doing, select it, export that, okay, um, save that, pretty interesting, so let's, let's close this out, let's close this guy, let's open 3D code, Bam. OK, 
Okay, so we have 3D code right here. So you could open, um, we're gonna go into voxel sculpting. Let's start an empty scene. And I believe you could you could open an object as a template. Let's see here, what they, let's see what options they have. File, import, right? Import for raw voxelization, import multiple, all right, policy. Da, da, da. Topo, import multiple objects, import retopo mesh, reference mesh. Let's try that. Go to work files here, 3D code, and import. Let's go the modify, which is a level barricade. Got it. Also, I believe it imported it. Did it import in the Retopo room? Uh, let's go back to the sculpt. How do you how do you view a reference mesh? Poly models. You know what, guys? Um, I'm just going to import that as a. I'm going to import that as a. Um, as a regular voxel mesh. And we'll use that as a reference. I'm not seeing it in here. Paint. Actually, it's in here. Whoa, yeah, it's tiny. That's interesting. Just going to Retopo. Yeah, it's, it's actually in here. modeling it's actually in modeling also Select. It just leaves the it just leaves the mesh at, at a certain size. There must be a way to access it, but I'm not gonna try to figure that out now. I mean, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna import as a voxel. Go back again. I'm just gonna put it straight in as a voxel. Edit our uh, file, and then what we're gonna do? We're gonna import. Import mesh of voxelization. There you go. I'm gonna import that. There we, there we are in the auto scale. Getting it bigger. Main axis, auto scale again. Let's scale this. Click scale, 100, let's go 300. Probably a little bit bigger than that. Let's go uh, 500. Bam, I'm, I'm comfortable with that. Could be a little bit bigger, but let's, let's stick with this. Apply. Okay, it's adding it to the scene. Okay. 
Oh, did it apply? Reset space. Import, export, okay. I guess that works. I imported without voxelization. You could do that. Didn't know that. Either way, we got it in here. Okay, so we got something like as a template. In here okay so definitely um the next stage of this would be to go through and conceptualize what this barricade wall should look should kind of look like i think it's, it's probably going to look vast somewhat different and um we'll do that in the next stream guys so yeah just been mulling around gathering up stuff you know shuff, shuffling things and um, the beginning of another, creating another object here in, um, you know, here, another game asset using Blender and 3D Code. And we also used Godot to kind of um, sketch things out in the game engine. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. We can't wait to get to this, so that's what we're gonna do tomorrow, God willing. We'll jump in, we'll conceptualize to make this look as cool as possible. And then we'll actually start to get it, you know, start to, to craft, to sculpt it out and model it. What do you think? It could be something. Level blocking. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll see you guys in a little bit. This is extra sign, eh? Yeah, and this was this was you know this was a lot of fun. See you guys in a little bit. God bless. Take it easy. Yeah, and keep um keep doing what you love. You know, and we'll do it together. Just you know, let me know, and, and we'll uh we'll keep rocking on this stuff. See you guys later, God bless, and have a good night.
we were the slaves of the Urgoth. And eventually, after much strife, we broke free. And so we made our walls high. And our convictions strong. But there are many dangers. No one can survive out there on their own. We found her last night, in the jungle. They said she must have been out there for years. It's not possible. I always knew this day would come. A new beginning. You won't get your son back. You have my word. And yet, New enemies would be forged. A line would be crossed. Things would never return to the way before. through your mind. It knows you. It knows us all. 